Hello and welcome to the complete new player's guide for Star Citizen. If you watched my previous videos, you probably know by now how to handle yourself uh, in the verse. Uh, but this time we're gonna talk about the prison system, because you're eventually gonna end up in prison, and how to clear your crime stat if you really don't wanna go there. So even if you're not new to the game, you could still learn a thing or two, so stay tuned. If you're thinking about buying Star Citizen right now, you can use my referral code and it's gonna be down in the info section of the video. If you use it, you can get a slight boost with your starting money and you should consider subscribing because I'm posting pretty much daily. And since I'm a music producer and a composer and whatnot, uh, I'm gonna be posting a lot of original music and original content inspired by Star Citizen. All that said, my name is GrumpyI and let's start with the tutorial video. Hello and welcome to the Clusher Rehabilitation Facility. Yeah, those are the words that nobody wants to hear right now in the game. Solely because you can get a crime stat for pretty much no fucking reason uh, in the game right now. Like, I've ended up in prison just for fucking landing on poor Tolisar. So, yeah, uh, don't get me started. But, since you're here, you should probably know what to do and how to get out. I'm not gonna show you how to escape prison because there's a lot of tutorial videos uh, on that topic. Uh, but I'm gonna show you how to do it like legally by mining because even if you escape prison there's just gonna be a bounty hunter waiting for you and you're gonna go straight back to it so yeah i suggest just doing your time or just mining to get out and i'm gonna show you how and i'm gonna show you a few things that most players do not know about the game like even the more experienced players so the first thing you gotta do when you get out of the bed you gotta enroll into the release program so you could mine your way out uh, after that, I suggest you just hold your backspace to suicide because uh, uh, sometimes the game, or most of the times, the game doesn't give you the multi-tool that you actually need to mine the rocks that are in the mines. After you've done all of that, you're gonna go straight to the work mines and you're gonna go straight down to area 5 or level 5 of the work mines so you can actually mine some hedonite. As I've said before in my previous videos, uh, this game is really big on signs so you're not gonna get lost in the mines uh, you just gotta follow the signs and I suggest you learn some bunny hopping because it will save you some valuable time with little to no impact to your stamina once you get to the fifth level or area of the work mines you're gonna restock on oxygen on this little machine here once you're done with that, you're gonna start your search for Hedonite. Now, you should know that all of the rocks that are actually mineable in the work mines are visually distinguishable, so don't get scared, because you're gonna see them sticking out of the ground. Now, here I'm about to find my first Hedonite rock, and it is the first rock that I actually struck. The deeper you go into the mines, the more hedonite you will find there. Uh, the hedonite is distinguishable by a little pink shards that are coming out of the rock. Dalawine has green shards and Aphrodite has blue shards or maybe purple. But you don't really want to mine Aphrodite because Aphrodite is fucking worthless. And uh, if you find some Dalawine, eh, well, just fucking take it. Why, why the fuck not? All that said, you can equip your multi tool by pressing the number four on your keyboard. And you can scan the rocks by right clicking with the multi tool. And you can break the rocks by left clicking and scrolling upwards with your mouse wheel. Now, once you break the rocks, you can collect them by holding F and clicking Stow in the Inner Thought menu. Now, all that said, stowing is gonna take a while uh, in the current build of the game, because these servers are pretty much hosted on a fucking potato or a flower pot. And I mean, what did you really expect? It's fucking Star Citizen, so nothing is supposed to work here. But that said, they're apparently gonna fix it in 3.14. So yeah, they're gonna get a 10 out of 10 from fucking IGN because of it. Or from Grumpy Eye, at least. Anyway, once you stow all of the gems that are glitching out on the fucking ground, uh, you might as well mine a few more rocks. It really depends on your current uh, crime stat level. So if you have a crime stat 3, uh, you could get like uh, 
three hours. If you have a Grandstat 5, you might get like 12 hours of fucking prison time. So you can actually clear your crime stat in like a half an hour or an hour uh, by mining in the prison mines. So it's not that bad, but I mean, it's not that good neither. So with all that said, uh, you need to know a few more things. There are actually knives and shivs hidden in the prison mines, as well as some drinks and some food. But for some reason, people tend to attack you in the prison. Probably they think they, they could like steal your uh, gems, but I'm not sure they can, just because the persistent inventory is not in yet. But they're probably just being dicks. So you gotta watch your back every time you mine, and uh, that's the most shittiest part about being in the prison. If you get attacked, you can press number zero on your keyboard, and you can throw some hands. But I suggest just to fucking let it, leave, jump away, bunny hop away as fast as you can because you're gonna lose everything you have if you die. With all that said, after you mine a bunch of Hedonite, you're gonna run back to the exit or the entrance, it's pretty much the same thing. Make sure you restock your oxygen on the way there because you may suffocate on the way back. Now once you get there, there's gonna be a terminal on the left side where you can deposit all of your mined minerals. Now that's gonna give you merits and the merits are used to get out of prison. They're gonna lower your sentence time by a lot and if you have an excess amount of merits, you can actually send those or sell them to another player. And you do this by going into the MO Trader app in your Moby Glass and there you can send your merits to another player. I strongly suggest that you do that because if you have an excess amount of merits and you get out of the prison, the excess amount is gonna be cleared. Now you can also sell those merits to somebody in the global chat because pretty much everybody's buying and the merits prices go from 2 AUAC per merit up to 10 AUAC per merit. It really depends on the amount that you're actually selling. Now some people have uh, alternate accounts and they're uh, sending the merits uh, to themselves. Uh, I don't really like that. I like helping my friends or I can just ask them to send them back to me after I leave the prison. But make sure you send them before you leave the prison. If you receive any merits while you're in prison, they are going to be cleared when you leave. Now, with all that said, if you do not want to end up in prison, there is quite a few things that you could actually do. First thing is be on the right side of the law. So what that means is do not accept any missions from the personal tab if you do not know what you're doing. Also do not attack any players or NPCs if you are unprovoked or if they are not showing red on your screen. Now if you do get a crime stat for some fucking reason or a bullshit bug, you can try to clear the crime stat without going to jail. Bear in mind that it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort just to fucking clear your crime stat, so you're better off going to jail. But if you want to do it, here's how you do it. First you want to go to the Crusader's Moon that goes by the name of Yella, and then you're going to jump to Grimhex Station over there. Once you land on Grimhex, and once you take the two elevators that are going to take you to the main area, you will need to take a left from the elevators and go through the sketchy little door right here, take a left again, and go through the door into the store to the right. Once you get inside, there's gonna be a bunch of cards laid out in front of you. You wanna buy the Ripper card. You might as well buy a bunch of them because you never know. And after that, you have a few options. You can go to the Crusader's Moon that's called Salen and go to the security outpost Karia. The next spot where you can clear your crime stat is gonna be on Hurston and the place is called Security Depot Hurston. On Microtech you can clear your crime stat on the outpost that is called Empty Data Center 4HJ-LVE-A. Jesus fucking Christ. Right, the last spot where you can go to clear your crime stat is on Illyria. It's a moon right next to our corp. And the place is gonna be conveniently named Security Depot Lyria. Now, the main differences between the uh, security depots are these. So if you go to Korea, 
Uh, there's gonna be a lot of station guns over there and they will shred you. But the only good thing about Korea is that there is no security inside of it. The only bad things that could happen over there are, well, there could be a player that's hunting you and he can come inside and shoot you. Or somebody can spawn a mission inside Korea which will spawn a bunch of NPCs right next to you and they will shoot you and they will kill you. Now, once you get to Korea, you need to find a good spot to park your ship. Because, as I've said, uh, the station guns are just gonna destroy you in a second. My suggestion is parking below the water thingy, or whatever it's called, or below one of the landing pads. The other security depots have uh, like NPC security inside and they're gonna shoot you as soon as they see you and there's like at least seven or eight of them in each of the security depots. But you will not need to hide your ship because there's just like two turrets and you can kill them with your missiles. Once you picked the security depot of your choice, and once you made sure it's clear from enemies, you're gonna go into your mobi glass and into your equipment manager and under the utility tab, you're gonna select the ripper card under the utility item slot. And you need to find a terminal that looks just like this. After that, you're gonna insert your ripper card into the port right next to the screen and you will be doing the most boring and the most shittiest uh, minigame ever designed in a video game. So that is it for today guys, uh, thank you for watching, my name is Grumpy. you should consider subscribing and uh, yeah, uh, don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling through space. Da -da 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 -da. Subscribe!